Good morning to all of you, to Gisela and to all of those who follow us every morning. Today in Cuba, 263 people continue to be hospitalized. 12 are under observation, there are 79 suspected cases and 72 confirmed active cases. In our primary healthcare system, 149 people continue to be monitored by our healthcare professionals and specialists. Yesterday, over 3,000 samples were processed in Cuba. A total of 3,372 samples were studied. Of these, six tested positive for SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19. Our molecular biology laboratories worked hard to process all the samples. 1,389 were processed at the Pedro Cudi Tropical Medicine Institute, 470 in Havana's Hygiene, Epidemiology and Microbiology Centre, 451 in Via Claris, 282 in Santiago de Cubas, 426 in the Hermano Almajeres Hospital Laboratory, 188 in the Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology Centre Lab, and 166 in the Civil Defence Laboratories. I repeat, six people tested positive and I would like to clarify a question that has been put to me. That if a patient is discharged from hospital but tests positive for COVID-19 during the following 14-day obligatory monitoring period, is this patient considered a new case? No this would not be reported as a new case. 2,438 people have been diagnosed with the virus in Cuba, none of which are repeat cases. Yesterday, samples were processed from all of the country's provinces, 100 from Artemisa, the majority from Havana with 2,339, 96 from Mayabeque, 114 from Matanzas, 96 from Cienfuegos, 120 from Granma, 78 from Ciego de Avila, and so on and so forth. The six positive cases yesterday, as has been seen over recent days and weeks, are all Cubans and confirmed case contacts, which means the source of infection for 88.3% of all positive cases in Cuba have been confirmed case contacts. 168 people contracted the virus abroad, and we continue to work with the 111 patients where it has not been possible to determine the source of infection. Of the six positive cases yesterday, two are female and four are male, representing 49.5% and 50.5% of total cases respectively. Five were asymptomatic, and this figure continues to rise, currently standing at 1,333 people, or 54.68% of all confirmed cases at the time of testing. If we analyze these figures over the last 15 days, the percentage rises to 70.1. I want to highlight two important aspects of this illness. Firstly, confirmed case contacts are those most at risk. And secondly, the percentage of cases where the source of infection has been a person that showed no symptoms at the time of testing. Five of the six people who tested positive yesterday are between 40 and 60 years of age. One is nine years old and from Havana. This takes the number of people to test positive for COVID-19 under 20 years of age to 277, of which 266, or 96.4%, have been given a clean bill of health and discharged from hospital. All six cases are from Havana and the municipalities of Centro Habana, Cerro, 10 de Octubre, and Habana del Este, areas where we have seen high rates of local transmission and where we are continuing to work in order to detect the highest number of potential cases in these areas. In Cuba, Havana continues to be the province with the highest number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the last 15 days at a rate of 4.12 for every 100,000 people, slightly higher than yesterday's rate. Mayabeque has a rate of 0.78, similar to yesterday's. Overall, Cuba has a rate of 0.83 confirmed cases per 100,000 inhabitants over the last 15 days. It's important to mention that no new positive cases have been reported in 13 provinces 
and the Isle of Youth Special Municipality in the last 15 days. In fact, no new cases have been reported in several provinces for more than 70 days. For example, Cienfuego has had no new cases for 76 days, Olguin 70, Granma 74, Santiago de Cuba 72, Guantanamo 74, the Isle of Youth Special Municipality 72, and so on. There are others that have also reached 70 days. These are all important numbers, and this is why I stress that testing continues to take place in every province across the island. Of the 2,438 patients that have tested positive for COVID-19 in Cuba from March the 11th to date, 72 are active hospitalized cases, representing 2.9% of the total. 71, or 98.6%, are clinically stable. One patient remains in a serious condition. This patient is from Havana and is admitted at the Salvador Allende Hospital. There have been 87 deaths as a result of the virus in Cuba, but none reported yesterday. Two patients were previously evacuated. Yesterday, two people were discharged from hospital here in Havana, bringing the total number of people to have recovered to 2,277, or 93.4% of all confirmed cases. No patients have been reported as critical for the last 17 days in a row. This is the situation in Cuba at present, which, when compared to the global situation, we see that our collective efforts have not been in vain, and that we must continue to comply with all the measures that have been implemented and indicated. The virus continues to be present in the same 185 countries. The number of confirmed cases worldwide currently stands at 13,079,218. Yesterday, 203,255 cases were diagnosed and 4,034 people died of the virus, taking the total number of COVID-19-related deaths to 575,662 worldwide, for a mortality rate of 4.38%. Today, Cuba has a mortality rate of 3.57%, placing the country in 21st position in the Americas and 106th in the world. Yesterday, Cuba was 104th. Today, it places 106th. The region of the Americas, the epicenter of the pandemic for weeks now, continues to be facing a difficult situation. Yesterday, 103,132 people were diagnosed with COVID-19 in the region, taking the total number of confirmed cases to 6,891,443. The region therefore represents 52.69% of all cases worldwide. 2,210 people died as a result of the virus yesterday bringing the total number of COVID-19 deaths in the Americas to 290,969, for a mortality rate of 4.22%. This is the behaviour of the pandemic in Cuba, across the world, and specifically in the region of the Americas.